Hello and welcome to tap into your inner resources to live a fulfilled and abundant life. And this is me, Zoe Gold Petrak, with you. I'm a strategic results and achievement mentor, a big performance business mentor, an international best-selling author, and an expert on human mind and potential. I've literally dedicated the past 14 years of my life to traveling all of the world and learning from the best mentors that are out there in personal development, in uh, um, psychology, in uh, life and um, business success, in neurolinguistic programming, in everything basically that is out there that um, that um, I believed was helpful for me personally, first of all, to understand what stands behind personal uh, business and life success, how to create a transformation and how to make it possible and how to do it faster, easier and uh, in uh, more simple ways than ever before. This was my quest and um, uh, for since 2013, I've been doing it professionally in my business uh, with my books and my online programs and one-on-one mentoring and many other different things, live events, online events, where I work with, with people all over the world and help them create transformation and turnaround in their results, in their results in relationship, business, um, abundance, uh, prosperity, um, whatever they want to achieve. Uh, I help them to to create that transformation and get the desired results that they want. And the journey for me has been amazing. And I'm so, I feel so happy and privileged to share this knowledge with you. So today, the first lesson that you're going to hear is everything literally starts with knowing who you truly are. So that's going to be the focus of our today's lesson. Because in order to be who you really are, you need to know who that is. And in order to achieve what you want, you really need to tap into your true resources and into your true potential that is in you. It is already in you. But you need to unleash it. You need to tap into it and utilize those resources. So in this program, we're going to talk about your goals and your results. We're going to talk about science of success and science of achievement and science of abundance, as well as we're going to talk about and understand the art of well-being and fulfillment because it's not just about getting the results in your life even though there's nothing wrong with that and it's even beautiful to you know have an amazing goal the calling of your heart and come to its fulfillment to its fruition but at the same time life is a journey it's in every day that you live and experience your life and the quality of every second that you live, that's what matters. So you can truly enjoy and have fun and fulfillment and and that deliciousness um, feeling of vitality on your way to your ultimate success, to your to fulfillment of your dreams and goals. So that's the balance that that we are um, we are putting together here. So it is your ultimate success, and it's also your ultimate well being. So let's continue. Let's talk a little bit about the secrets of success. When you look at it, literally everything in your life, uh, whether it's the life you want, whether it's the business you want, whether it's relationships you want, it really is a result of your psychology and the result of what's going on in you. Because when you look at success and successful people, uh, I mean truly prosperous in every aspect of their, their lives. I don't mean just financial prosperity, which is amazing. I mean prosperity and abundance in, in, in the joy and love of their relationship, friendships, 
traveling, growth, inner fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, inner joy, everything. It's the aspects that we see. So it's this this part that they have this amazing family, they have these amazing, you know, properties, they have this amazing lifestyle. And there is also a bottom part, which is responsible for all of that, which we don't see. And this picture is clearly representing that. So there is like a root, there is like a cause that makes and helps and fuels that beauty that you can see and sense and feel on the outside. And the same thing is here, right? In success, there are some things, some things that you see and there is a huge bottom part that you don't see. And that's what we're going to look and and explore. And you will see and understand how you can utilize this knowledge in order to create transformation and turn around in your results. So the change literally starts within. And in order to change results, you have to change the cause. And that's what what we're going to do. We're going to work with the cause of the results that you're getting. So you're not just treating symptoms. You're actually looking at what is causing, why you have results that you have, what's preventing you from having results that you want to have, and how you can create that shift and transformation, how you can create that that inner game changer for your results and the quality of your life in every day, every second, every moment. As Orison Svet Marden said, the golden opportunity you are seeking is in yourself. It's not in your environment. It's not in luck or chance or the help of others. It is in yourself alone. And if you truly understand what stands behind the wisdom in this quote, then you have a key, (laughs) right? So that's what we're going to do here. So the first step, as already mentioned, is knowing who you really are. And you have infinite potential. You are this amazing, infinite, divine being. You are more than what you can see here in this physical reality. You're this this magnificent, divine soul. Your spiritual DNA is perfect. You're pure, positive energy. You already are everything you've ever wanted to be and even more. That's who you truly are. And every time when you hear something that is actually true about you, about your your source, about your true origin, it resonates within you. You can feel it. You can feel it about yourself. That you are this this infinite, magnificent being. So, let's talk about laws of the mind and laws of the universe so you can experience and open up even more of that power and of that potential that is within you. So you can utilize those inner resources in the way that you want. So you can benefit from it. So you can feel more and more every day that greatness, that magnificence of who you really are. And as Thomas Edison said, I know this world is ruled by infinite intelligence. Everything that surrounds us, everything that exists, proves that there are infinite laws behind it. There can be no denying this fact. It is mathematical in its precision. So let's talk about these laws of success, laws of the mind, laws of the universe. Okay, so here we're going to use this chart to, uh, for, to better understand uh, how your mind works and how you, um, how you attract how you manifest, and how you get the results that you get in your life. So, 
First of all, you think a thought, you focus on something, you give attention to something, you remember something, you think about something in the future, you have the pictures in your mind, uh, you, you expect something. You have a feeling. So every time when you think a thought, when every time you, when you pay attention to something, when you uh, or someone, when you focus on something, you have this feeling. So the feelings you create, right, with your um, uh, with 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 your uh, conscious thoughts, basically. So. Your results are attracted to you because of that feeling and that state. And sometimes you can hear um, uh, uh, people describe it in terms of uh, the word vibration. That you emanate to the world and you tell the world who you are, who you think you are, who you believe you are in that moment. So you have those thoughts and pictures in your mind and you feel the feelings and feelings are basically just an interpretation of a thought or a manifestation of a vibration that you are in, that you put yourself in and you emanate that vibration to the world and you show the world, this is who I am. This is what I want. This is what I'm here for. And according to that vibration, to that state, to that feeling, the results are attracted to you. Like attracts like. You probably have heard about it uh, before, about law of attraction, about uh, its foundation, the law of vibration, and many other things. But let's take a deeper look at how it works and how you can use it and utilize those resources that are in you to, uh, to create the de- desired results. All right. So you have a conscious mind. And again, this picture is, um, I'm using this chart just to demonstrate so you can understand better how it works. It's not how it's happening in your body. So, uh, so just for the purpose of, of my explanation, here's this chart. So you have a conscious mind and there you have your thoughts and five senses. You can see, hear, taste, smell and touch. And you also has, have a subconscious mind, subconscious part of your mind and that's where you store uh, that's where the paradigm is and the paradigms is basically just set of inner beliefs or your blueprint things that you believe about yourself about the world and we are not born with beliefs it beliefs we install uh, because we observed something, because we were told something by someone, uh, because we, I don't know, had different experiences, we formed, you formed some particular beliefs throughout your physical path. And some of them are beneficial and they are actually in alignment with that magnificent greater part of you of who you truly are and some of those beliefs are not true they are false they are limiting and they're pulling you back from from being who you truly are and from living the life in that joy and zest and vitality of who you really are and having results that you want so anyways subconscious mind with paradigm and paradigm is just sets of inner a set of inner beliefs and your blueprint Now, your paradigm influences your thoughts. Uh, And when you think a thought, you have a feeling. So basically, in the long term, your paradigm influences your state that you're in, your vibration and your feelings. And that, that, that vibration that you emanate, the state you're in, and those feelings, they influence your decision, your behavior, your actions, and your results. Now, before we move any further, there is one more thing that, that requires understanding and clarification. <clears throat> What's the purpose of contrast? And um, by the contrast, I mean... 
every time when you experience something unwanted in your life, something that many people call negative, or not always negative, something that that is just not the way you would like it to be, something unwanted, the desire for new experience is born within you in that moment. So that was like your step one in order to understand and clarify what you actually want. So you had that maybe unpleasant or unwanted experience. And out of that experience, the desire for new and improved, expe- new and expro- improved experience is born within you. So that contrast was a necessary step for you to truly understand and clarify what you actually want. And we do it consciously and unconsciously every day with every little things. You do it with your relationships. You do it with your financial situation. You do it with your income. You do it with everything. So there is nothing bad in the contrast It just helps us to clarify and understand better what we want. So we can choose what we want. So we can focus on what we want. So we can focus on the solution and move in that direction. What often happens is that that step one, when the contrast happened, that unpleasant experience, People still focus on that unpleasant experience over and over and over again. So they basically emanate that vibration. Therefore, they perpetuate that, that, uh, that unpleas- unpleasant or unwanted experiences. Instead of understanding that the contrast or unpleasant thing happened because you needed this to clarify what you wanted. Life always happens for you. Now that you clarified what you actually want, you looked at what you didn't want, now you know what you do want. If you can pivot and turn around and focus exactly on the essence, on the feeling, on the state of what you actually want, on the desire that was born from that experience, on that feeling of a dream fulfilled, of how you're going to feel the next day when that when the dream is fulfilled, when the desire is fulfilled, when you focus exactly on what you want, then you turn and pivot in the direction of a solution. And then, first of all, your state, your feelings and the vibration you emanate is aligned with what you want, with your newly born desire. So you attract everything you need for for its fulfillment. You align with who you truly are because your natural state, your natural feelings are the feeling of pure positive vibration, of of empowerment, of magnificence, of all those beautiful feelings that are actually very beneficial for you. And your decisions, your behavior, your actions, and your results will be fueled and influenced by that state of you being completely focused on and feeling the thing that you want, that newly born desire within you. So that's the purpose of the contrast, is to choose, become that who you want to be, that that um, the person who experiences now that what was born from the contrast and the variety And you can expand. And that's basically how uh, how evolution happens. You always go for something better, for something even more fulfilling. You choose what you want. You become and you expand. And then you choose again. You become and you expand. So here we come to the second thing. You need to know a clear goal and focus on what you want. So it's just basically, you already know what you want. It's just basically pivoting in the direction of what you want. And if you have a truly 
true calling of your heart and um, idea, uh, a vision of a particular goal, whatever area of your life that is, can be business goal, it can be financial goal, it can be relationship goal, it can be fitness and health goals, whatever it is, make it very clear in your mind what it means. And make the feelings of the dream and goal fulfilled very clear and dominant within you. So it is your home now. It is who you really are. And when you actually focus on the aspect of the subject that you actually want, not on lack of it, but on what you actually want in that particular aspect of your life, That focus will influence your decision, your behavior, your actions, and your result. It will will influence the state you're in, and it will influence the quality of the moment. And it will actually put you in an alignment with who you truly are and with alignment with that what you want. And your feelings is like your GPS. Because as we talked about this earlier, thought comes first and emotion is just an interpretation of a thought. And your feelings are guiding you. They show you whether you're focused on what you want, whether you're aligned with what you want, whether you're aligned with the who you truly are, with that magnificent source soul of yours, or you're just um, uh, focusing in the opposite direction that is basically just not benefiting you. And the feelings show you that. So the better you feel, the more you, it shows you that you're moving in the right direction. When you feel good, you're aligned with who you really are and with what you want. And when you feel negative emotions, it's just basically your GPS showing you that you're going in the wrong way. And there is nothing wrong in negative emotions. Because, you know, sometimes people, um, you know, get, <clears throat> when they hear about law of attraction, they, they get, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit uh, fearful. Oh, I, I, I don't want to feel negative emotion. I don't want to think negative thoughts and all that stuff. But there is nothing wrong with that. It's just GP- your GPS is working properly and it's just beeping. It's showing you with the negative emotion that you're just focused in a way that is not aligned with your peak performance, with your true potential, with who you really are and with what you want. Therefore, it's just this negative feeling that shows you, okay, stop doing that and do something else. Refocus, pivot, focus on a solution. Because vibration of a problem and vibration of a solution or the state of the problem and the state of the solution is completely different. And unless you get into that state or vibration that you emanate of a solution of what you want, you won't be moving towards it, right? So the feelings show you what you're focused on and they show you the quality of your thoughts in the moment. And if you, uh, and of course, in this particular program, uh, we will, in our next lesson, and we have five lessons here, we will uh, get into more details of how you can utilize uh, your resources and how you can understand better the laws of the mind and how you can apply them, etc. Of course. But if you want to understand this at even deeper level, uh I've prepared this exclusive, truly exclusive, it's free, it's completely complimentary training and case study uh, that um, is available at this point. Uh, so get it before, uh, while it's online. Uh, it's at, you can find it at www.resultsmentorcs.com. Um, case study basically you can see it on on the screen uh there it's i believe it's like an hour and a half training on um, truly deeply understanding how the what stands behind law of, of attraction and law of vibration how your mind operates and how you can use your mind 
and your thoughts instead of your thoughts using you. <laughs> and so, you know, sometimes people say, I think like my thoughts are thinking me, <laughs> right? And um, uh, there are uh, deep um, tools and strategies and practices that you can apply uh, in order to create that shift. So if you just, uh, and again, um, we will be discussing many things here in this program, but if you want to go into deeper details, that is a longer training made particularly for that, where you can, and, and it also will will explore in more details what's preventing you from getting where you want to be, what's missing from the knowledge that you already have about law of attraction, personal development, growth, and all all other things, uh, and how to how to basically fine tune it. Right, because you probably know have heard some or a lot of these things, but if it's not working for you and you're not getting those results um, consistently, and if you if you if you feel different struggles in different aspects of your life, then probably there are some keys or um, or steps or things that need some fine tuning, or maybe even some information that is missing. Right, so you can feel free to go there and uh and and watch it it's it's a video now um this is the end of today's uh lesson and um thank you for being here with me uh and i will i will talk to you in in our next lesson thank you and have an amazing amazing day